Howdy guys, it's Yimmy. Welcome to my channel. I got a brand new video for you guys today. I just want to show off my nice, awesome brand new t-shirt. It's got the YouTube logo over here. And Yimmy in cursive. It's just a very beautiful shirt. I'm in love. Thanks to my wife and my sister-in-law for coming up with the idea. It came out better looking than I than I imagined it. So it's just very simple, very nice, very clean. Uh, I'm in love with the shirt. I'm officially to an all razor setup. So a part of this video is going to be me unboxing this and then showing you my entire gaming setup that's all razor. The Razer Black Shark V2. This is the $100 or $99.99 version of the headset that came out. There is a Black Shark um, Black Shark X, I believe, that goes for $50 or $60, but I went and got this one because it has the USB sound card for better gaming audio, but what I've heard about this for the price that this is, you're going to get the best sound and audio quality in any headset, and it's important for me because this is going to officially allow me to only use one gaming software. It's kind of cool that I have now a fully all Razer software, or all Razer peripherals. And let's unbox it real quick. So let's show you guys the box. Boom! That's what it looks like there. Let's go around. Zoom out. So the good thing about this headset is that it works for all, not only gaming PCs, but it works for all consoles, including PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, Macs, and even your smartphone so if you want to use this to game on a, on a smartphone and you have an adapter for it it says right here in the bottom so this is basically a universal fully universal headset let's go ahead and peel this thing up here oh and once that's open for gamers by gamers it says right up there okay and we get some paperwork register it so that you protect your headset for the warranty, more paperwork. Now let's pull the headset out. And it looks like it's in a little cloth bag. And let's go ahead and open it up. Guys, I'm excited. All razor everything. Um, now, it is kind of expensive for $100. Now everyone said it has really good software. I saw random freight peas review of it, which really made me want to get it because he, he said it's a very premium, very good sounding headset. And from my first initial impressions is this does look, it's very light. So I can tell that once it's on my head, it's going to feel awesome because it's going to, I feel like I'm not even going to feel it. Let's go ahead and put this on then. Wow. This actually, it actually blocks out all sound really well with nothing being played so it's just on here if it's really snug it's very comfortable I have really big ears and it's not <laughs> I have really big ears and it's not making them hurt right away um, because the cups are oversized so really it surrounds my whole ear so I could definitely get used to this and you know for for those prolonged gaming sessions I don't think it's gonna really bother me um, I could definitely wear this. It's not gonna hurt my head. You might it might mess up your hair if you have long hair, but I'm losing my hair up here, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, so it does feel very nice. I will say that it's awesome. Now, unfortunately, this is not a wireless. This is a wired headset, and here's the USB sound card, and it's already plugged in. So I'm gonna have to get into this further, but I did want to show you guys a little close up, a little subtle Razer logo there, Razer logo there, and this is very light, guys. This is uh, it, it doesn't weigh much, so when I put it on, you can't even tell that you have it. If it, if if it wasn't for the noise being blocked out from the cuffs actually gripping you, it it's actually really really unnoticeable. You probably could walk around and forget you have it on your head. And then on this little package, you have the microphone. So we're gonna turn this, and there you go, there's your headset. 
So overall, and then you got your little carrying case. It's wired. Very nice, very small. My initial impression of trying that headset is that the audio quality and the mic quality is really good. People hear me really well. You know, the bass, I think the, the drivers, I think it's a 50 millimeter drivers uh, for audio are really good in that headset. Uh, for $100, I mean, I still wish it was a little cheaper, but I think this is one of the best gaming headsets that you're gonna get in that price range. I wish it was wireless, but you do sacrifice a little latency. Um, in terms of and then it'll probably be a little more expensive to get it wireless so for what it is it's a great headset I'm really in love with it so this is what my setup looks like so I, this is my 2020 13 inch razor blade stealth my razor viper ultimate docked to the charging dock this new headset it's not RGB so I'm not going to be able to mess with RGB coloring of it but now I'm fully engaged into the Razer community by now having my Razer headset, Razer mic, mice, Razer computer, and then the Razer dock. All I can say is that I've grown to be a huge fan of Razer. I think they got one of the best warranties. I know their customer service sucks, but they have one of the best warranties in terms of, I mean, at least recently they upped their warranties on a lot of their peripherals, gaming mice, gaming headsets, gaming keyboards. Um, and this is, a, this is honestly the best gaming mice you can buy um, to me. Uh, it was on sale, so I got it for 130 brand new. But the light, how light it is, the ambidextrous feel, you know, the response time, it's not, it, I've never had a double click. Knock on wood that it happens now, but it's just the best gaming mice I've ever had. I've had the Model O, the Model D, the Model O minus, the so many wireless gaming mice. I've purchased, you know, the Ninja Final Mouse, Ninja Final Mouse Ultralight, Cape Town. I've had a lot of cool gaming mice, but nothing has ever satisfied me more than what this Razer Viper Ultimate has done. When it comes down to the cables. They're, the cable drag is just the worst, and I know you can buy a bungee for it, but it, it, when you have a cable attached to it, it just this is a game changer. Not having a, a cable dragging as you're maneuvering around. So that, with the synapse on here and controlling my keyboard and the performance of the Razer, I just think the overall the build, the build quality and being in an entire ecosystem of Razer is just to me phenomenal. I've never been more happy to have uh, to be a part and this is not sponsored by any means it's not sponsored I'm not being told I'm just really I, I'm a huge fan of what Razer has done and I think Razer is doing a great job with their build quality their entire ecosystem of what they're building their mice headsets just doing a great job and I'm actually this whole Razer gaming setup that I have here for my 2020 gaming setup I'm always changing this has been my favorite setup that I've ever had. You know, this this is honestly has been the best because of the portability. The Razer just it's it's it works. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This was a really quick video. I just wanted to go over what my setup is, my 2020 gaming setup, all Razer. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, please. Peace.